<clears throat> Hello, welcome to another exciting episode of me drawing stuff in Fire Alpaca. Okay, so today, since it's a special occasion, I thought I would draw something special for this special occasion. Now, first of all, I will create a new canvas on which to draw. There we go. Oh, this is exhausting. It's time I took a break. Okay, whew, I'm fully recovered. Jeez, I've really needed that break. Okay, what should I draw? Okay, something for uh, what's what's the date today? Um, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Thursday. So uh, something special for a Thursday. Well, what could be better than a? Uh, let's wait. Let's embiggen that a little bit. A ghostly fire alpaca. Hmm. Let's make it. Let's make it. Um. Let's make it. Do the thing. That I that it was doing before, in my tests yesterday when I wasn't actually recording a video, but I was just testing. Um, how did I make it do that thing? It was really cool. Oh, look at that! So cool. It's like it's all blurry and stuff. It's lagging my computer. It's so cool. Anyway, so I was supposed to be showing you how to draw a, fi a ghostly fire alpaca for Thursday. Let's see, let's make it bigger. Um, yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool alpaca. It was this color jittery thing. It was like flashing all rainbow colors and it looked super cool. Rainbowy and stuff. Like, I don't, I don't know. Something to do with colors. Let's open it. See, this is what I did yesterday. See, isn't that great? Maybe if I draw on it, it'll just steal the colors from it and use them. Nope, nope, it's just... Oh, oh well. Well, what a terrible Thursday this has been. Oh well, you know what they say about Thursdays. You gotta close your ghostly rainbow alpaca and start again. So... Let's do that. Right. So, Thursday. People on Thursdays often... Oh, there we go. Oh, I just had to change the color of the thing. Okay, so red makes it into a rainbow. And then we got a rainbow like this, and that's not a rainbow. But if we go to green, then that's it's like this. And I don't understand. But anyway, it's great. Maybe it works off the luminosity or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Luminosity? No, I, I mean saturation. Or do I? Whatever. I don't know what those words mean. <coughs> well, I do really because I'm a great artist, but I don't know what those words mean is, a, is what a terrible artist might say. Or just someone who's never encountered them before because they haven't needed to use them because they don't pay attention to words like that and they just do things like click on colors like me oh wait no I said I'm a great artist so I shouldn't be saying that <coughs> anyway <coughs> so what was I drawing I don't I don't even know what was I drawing this is a terrible video I should start again yeah okay okay um cuts let's let's delete all that and start again okay so this is a, a good Thursday and I'm gonna draw a Valentine's Day for Thursday which is this red heart and it's very good and this is a tutorial on how to draw it and it's very good watercolor so you scribble with the red and it makes a heart and it's good watercolor heart and then you've got all your Valentine's Day sorted out for next year and you don't need to do it anymore and it's all red heart very good yes 10 out of 10 wood heart again oh dear I 
God, that's the worst hat I've ever drawn. <clears throat> okay, so when you're drawing a heart, make sure it's uh good. That it could be blue, but that's only if if your heart is sad. And if it's sad, then I'm gonna draw something great to cheer it up, like a, a ghostly rainbow fire alpaca. I wonder how that magic frog is doing that I drew in my previous episode, which strangely it did something very weird at the end of the episode. It's like it came to life or something. That was really weird. Like, how the heck did that happen? I'm just drawing it and then. Whew, it's never happened before. Maybe it's the power of fire alpaca, maybe it's magic or something. Hmm. This is more so me rambling than uh, a drawing a thing for a Valentine's Day video. By the way, if you're wondering if this laggy fire alpaca drawing is laggy because of my recording thingy, or if it's actually laggy when I'm drawing it, then it's laggy when I'm drawing it. It's like super laggy on the screen right now. It's my fault. I made it big and ghostly and 10% opacity or something. No, I didn't. Two, ten, yeah, 10%. So it's like super... Actually, does that even make a difference to the lagginess? Not really, but it, it kind of seems like it does because the opacity makes it harder to gauge how much is actually happening or something. I don't know. I'm rambling. <clears throat> and you know what they say about rambling? All rambling is the source... No, all fire alpaca are the source of rambling. I don't know what they say about it. What was I talking about? Things that ramble. Um... Okay, so if you're stuck for ideas for what to do for Valentine's Day, then all you need to do is just probably just google it there's probably like loads of things on there so anyway so for special valentine's heart day i'm going to draw a green heart it's very good watercolor 10 out of 10 would draw a green heart again and then if you're stuck for ideas just smudge the heart like this and then embiggen the size and you can smudge it even more and then it can be a metaphor for what some people feel like on Valentine's Day when they're trying to eat a box of chocolates but they don't have one and it's just like oh dear won't anyone give me some chocolates and then it's all a smudged green heart if you know what I mean if you don't know what I mean then that's okay because, you know, just, just watch my next 256 videos and you'll become a, an amazing artist and you'll, you'll learn everything, you'll understand everything that I'm saying. Hopefully. Okay, so flowers. Flowers, that's something you should give people on Valentine's Day, if you're into that sort of thing. Which you shouldn't be, because nobody... Even like flowers, what is that? You don't even flowers anymore. <sighs> stars. Stars. Stars are a lovely romantic gesture for Valentine's Day. Until you get too close to them and they set you on fire. So don't get that close to them. In fact, just try to stay away from them because they're, they're pretty hot in the bad way. So don't... Yes, yeah, stay away from stars. Now, <clears throat> I'm well known for making very focused and direct and concise tutorials on drawing stuff. So, so this airbrush is very good at drawing the blue heart that's currently on my screen. Then again, you might not want to draw a blue heart on my screen, if you know what I mean. 
If you don't know what I mean, then just watch my next 256 videos and you'll learn exactly what I mean, hopefully. Anyway, so... Oh yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up. I wonder when that is. So... Yeah. Hmm. There's something missing. Something missing. Something missing. No, it's not that. Um... Maybe that's it? Maybe... Oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Well, isn't this interesting? It seems I've come to one of those things where you realize a thing and then it's like, it's like, oh, I should probably do something about this. I think I've hit a point in my art career where I've realized that my art's kind of, what's the word? Plateaued. That's a fancy word. Why couldn't I think of a simpler word? Anyway, <clears throat> and it's like I'm just, I'm just kind of doodling. I'm not really drawing anything with real meaning, real purpose. Like, we all ask ourselves questions when we draw stuff like, oh, why does that frog only have two eyes instead of three? Or... Whose castle is this anyway? Or why is Barney the dinosaur purple? And then it's like, well, we could try to answer the question by drawing something, but then are we really answering any questions or are we just, are we just making more questions for ourselves? And are frogs fluffy? Does it matter? Well, actually, yes, it does. Because if you if they're fluffy, then you should draw them with a fluffy texture, and if they're not, then you shouldn't. Obviously. But anyway, let's get back to the point. What was the point? It's the thing on the end of a pencil. Unless it hasn't been sharpened. If it's if it's blunt, then there's probably not a point. There's no point to anything. Unless there's another pencil that does have a point then that's a point. But, um... <clears throat> so... You may have noticed that there's something different about my drawing today. And if you can point out what it is, then hopefully you will feel a sense of satisfaction when you discover that you were correct. If you were correct. I hope you were, because it feels good to be right. So, what is the thing that I, about which I was just talking? I don't remember. Oh, something different about my, about my drawing. Yeah, um, <clears throat> so you may have noticed that today, with this particular drawing, I have not... been using
layers until now. <clears throat> Folders. Ooh. Okay, let's get rid of those. It's a bit excessive. Some might say. <clears throat> so, layers. I haven't been using layers until a few seconds ago, but then I deleted them all by pressing undo a lot. So, why haven't I been using layers? Um, no reason. I just didn't feel like it. Okay, so let's start using layers. Take up! Excuse me. Um, yeah, smudge. See, you can't smudge an empty layer. That's a mistake I made last time with the, the frog thing, I think, probably. I made it sometime. I think it was the frog thing. But the audio got all garbled because I'm terrible at using computers and making YouTube videos, apparently. Some might say. Not me, because I'm great at everything. <clears throat> but some misinformed people might say that. Hmm. <clears throat> smudge, smudge, smudge. See, the advantage of having multiple layers is that when you do stuff on a layer, you can do stuff on that layer without the stuff that you're doing on that layer having an effect on the other layers. And some people might say that's a good thing. See? I'm smudging up all the stuff on that layer, and it's not having an effect on the other layer. Now some people might say that's dumb and boring. But look, it's magic. You can move stuff and, and smudge stuff and dig stuff out from the layer beneath and then you discover something that you lost down there like 10 years ago and you're like oh my god haha I forgot about this what even is it it's all covered in dust and it's like what did I how long has it even been down here what's going on and then you're like oh my god what am I doing with my life and then then you look back where you were moving stuff and it's like a big smudgy blurry layer and it's like oh my gosh that's a mess I can't sell that and so then you start looking in the, the pile of dust for some old art that is good that you can still sell and it's like oh no you know and then you got a a stack of green stars covered by a blurry layer of red and blue and there's a ghostly alpaca alpaca staring at you from within that mess so in conclusion happy valentine's day okay bye